Here at Osu Alata, the last family meeting to conclude arrangements for the burial and funeral rites of the late Asafuache, Ujene Susumienu III, also known in private life as Christopher Ni Ngoni Hukweno, has ended. Relatives of the deceased say the renewed restrictions on social gatherings imposed by President Ekufado on the 31st of January has distorted the plans scheduled on the 12th and 13th of February for the grand funeral ceremony of the late warrior king of Usu Alata. Patience Makukeno, a sister of the deceased. A brother has been an Asafuache since 1973 till his death in 2020, so he's known widely. Even on the day of the announcement, we sent messages around to inform people about our funeral plans. When I heard the news, in fact, I could not sleep. I became sad. People started calling to ask me the way forward. If not for the renewed restrictions, we would have performed some rites here today, where some women would dance around. We started making arrangements since last year, and this is our third and last meeting. We heard on Sunday that the government has reimposed restrictions on our funeral. She explains why it had to take the family a long time to plan and prepare for the burial and funeral of their kinsman since his death on the 31st of October 2020. I know there are people out there wondering why we have waited this long to bury him. The issue here is that because of my brother's status in society, we cannot bury him like we bury communists. With a couple of 25, how many people will the Council of Elders and other kinsmen delegate to attend the funeral and even family members who also attend the funeral? For example, if we are allowed to have about 100 people attend this funeral, we will be very grateful to the government. She's worried money invested into the event will go waste. The caterer says she cannot refund her money to us because she has bought all the necessary ingredients for the order. We budgeted for over 1,500 people, and that number does not even include chiefs and other dignitaries from Gaadambi. Adding them to the budget means the number now becomes 2,000. We have incurred a lot of expenses for the funeral. We don't even know the way forward now. We therefore plead with government to intervene in the situation because we have made all the necessary arrangements for a grand funeral that befits my brother's status as an Asafuachi. According to her, the spirit of her late brother will not be happy with the current arrangements for his funeral. He will not be happy because he's a warrior. He has helped to give people a befitting funeral in the past and today being his turn, he will not get the same accorded to him all because of the restrictions. I am worried about what people will say, that he has been buried like a commoner. Therefore, if we are allowed to hold this funeral with at least 100 people, I would be very happy. Still in the Osu community, the family of Ni Note Adumwa had scheduled the funeral ceremony for their 76 year old relative, Veronica Kwashi Aidan, for the 19th and 20th of February. Family members here believe the cap on the number of attendees for the funeral will be a challenge due to the large family size. The government is doing well with regards to the COVID-19 fight, but the 25 cap is a worry because if you have more than 10 grandchildren and many family members, then it means that 
Not all of them can attend the funeral. What about those who have 25 children? What becomes of them? I would be very happy if the number is increased to 300 guests and the safety protocols are strictly enforced. Family members are not the only ones affected by these restrictions. Egbert Nakwe Note is an event planner at Osu. He believes increasing the number of guests to a maximum of 500 while enforcing the safety protocols would help salvage their business. We expected the government to give us an advanced notice because the situation has put a strain on our relationship with clients. We want the government to allow funerals and other social gatherings to take place, at least, with a maximum of 500 people. But make sure organizers strictly enforce these protocols. With the COVID-19 pandemic still biting hard and shattering all facets of the economy, it seems family members, vendors, and other interested parties will have to find ways and means of holding events with a specified number of guests imposed by government. Beryl and Estina Rich Tests reports for Joy News.